All right. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, sisters of YouTube. Hey, I got a message and a note for all the veterans out there for those um, who may not be informed of the happenings or what's going on. I'm going to get a lot of camera shake right here because I'm on a dirt road. Um, getting ready to head out to a main road. But I hear that Diane Feinstein, Diane Feinstein wants to take all the veterans <clears throat> and basically put them in a box and lock us up and says only break in case and in time of war. Ha! Can you imagine that? Huh? And, and not only that, she does not think that we're competent enough to be able to come out and function in civilian lifestyle or life, you know what I mean, and, and, and function as normal. And so she's instrumental in trying to make sure that we all have post-traumatic stress disorder. If anything, we all got post-traumatic stress disorder every time we get finished watching the news media and watching all these schizophrenic communists up there who call themselves lawmakers and representative of the people, for the people and by the people, um, doing everything they can to erode our civil liberties on a daily basis. I mean, we're sitting here watching our country getting stripped, robbed, bare by a bunch of fascist people. And it's, it's unreal, unbelievable. But she want to make sure that, that none of the veterans are able to obtain any guns or get guns. You know the reason why? Because, think about this for a moment. If a man is willing to sign his name on a dotted line to go into the military and be willing to be called upon to go and fight some enemy who the government tells us is the enemy and the truth is those of us who are wide awake we actually find out who the enemy really is the enemy really is whoever the corporations are the people who whose bottom line is being tampered with the enemies are those who don't agree or say no to the United States of America that's who our real enemies are allegedly so we're really truly not fighting any just wars not at all. We're not fighting any just wars. As a matter of fact, um, we just found out who the enemy is, uh, according to um, Diane Feinstein, Joe Lieberman. Uh, you think about some of these names, though. Joe Lieberman, Diane Feinstein, Nancy Pelosi, Schumacher, Bloomberg. Man, they all got a certain ring to it, don't they? Huh? Hmm. Makes y'all almost think that we are literally hijacked in the time we're living in now. But the veterans are the, pretty much the ones who have seen heat, the ones who have trained for heat. And the veterans are the ones who that, that this establishment and the people are worried about because they know we will fight back. They know that. And they want to remove and stamp out all residue or all people who do have the ability to resist. And if you're not mind numb through fluoride and aspartame and Prozac and Ritalin, um, you know, they, they don't have to worry about you too much. You understand what I mean? But if you are mind numb about it, but anyway, you know, it, it's amazing what goes on and stuff. Veterans, y'all see what's happening with this country, right? I'm literally appalled and amazed at some of you people who work for the government and you still can't see what's going on. Let me tell you something about a devil. A devil is a devil is a devil is a devil and a devil can never be trusted. Once a devil, always a devil. And you know what? It, it wouldn't be so bad if these people didn't set up and act like that they are the epitome of morality. I mean, it, it just wouldn't be so bad, but these folks are gangsters. These folks are nothing but gangsters. Now we got female gangsters. Whoo, America. You see that the shelves are all but dry concerning ammo. You better protect yourself, get yourself ready. I hear the war drums beat. 